Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox the Thorfire PF03 torchlight, take a close up look and test it out. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So as you can tell from the box, that this torchlight is quite small and it requires just a single AAA battery to operate. So let's go ahead and open up the box. So at the very top, there is a user manual for the PF03 torchlight. So there's some basic user instructions. Let's put that aside. And let's go ahead and remove the torchlight. And it also comes with a ring or seal. Okay, let's put that down. And let's just make sure there's nothing else left inside the box. So that's all good. Box is emptied out. And let's go ahead and remove the bubble wrap. And take a close up look at the Thorfire PF03 pen torchlight. So you can see it's quite small and it has an aluminium construction and it's black anodized and it's IP rated for some level of water resistance. And it's equipped with the Cree XP-G2 R5 LED. So let's go ahead and Unscrew the front. And let's go ahead and pop a battery in there. So I have and Amazon Basics AAA battery here, which I've quite recently unboxed. So let's go ahead and pop it in to the torchlight there. And let's go ahead and screw on the light or LED. And you can see that the button has been pressed already. And I'm pressing the button. So let's go ahead and press it properly with my thumb. So this is the moonlight mode. There are three levels of lighting. So moonlight is the lowest illumination. And now it's off. And moonlight. So let's do it quickly and see if we can 
go through the three lighting levels. So there we go. So it's all about the tap. So turning it on and then tapping it. So what we do have is moonlight, low, I'm sorry that's low now and that was high before. So it's one of those things where I have to press quickly and try not to talk. So, so you can see the modes properly because once I pause to describe, um, we lose that rhythm. So you can see high, low, moonlight, high, low, moonlight. So there we go. So high, low, moonlight. And for comparison purposes or perspective purposes, I have the EE power bar here and most of you might know of it or actually own one. So it has a basic LED torch light right there. And to give you some perspective, let's go ahead and get it into the different light levels uh, with the PF03 on the left. So you can see it's in moonlight right now, and then that's high, and then that's low. Moonlight, high, and low. And for a bit more perspective, what I have over here is a pound shop number here, and it runs off nine LEDs, as you can see, and um, it's powered by three AAA batteries, and that gives you an idea of the brightness right now. So I'm going to turn off the EE power bar and show you the difference. compared with the budget light on the right. So that's moonlight, high and low. So you can see just how wide and intense the flood is of the Thor Fire PF03 on the left compared to the budget torchlight on the right that requires three AAA batteries to operate. Okay, so we're outside and in the park right now and I've got the Thor 5 PF03 torchlight in my hand on the right of the frame right now. You can't quite see because it's quite dark, but let's go ahead and turn it on anyway. So right now it's in the moonlight uh, mode. So there are three levels of illumination. So this is the lowest uh, brightness. So let's go ahead and uh, tap it again and check out the other levels of illumination. So this is the highest uh, brightness and tap it again. And this is the low. So there are three levels, moonlight, high, and low. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can shine um, the ground and area right in front of us. So, so this is the high mode and this is the low mode and moonlight and obviously as you can see moonlight is only really useful for um, shining uh, in areas directly in front of us or in small uh, tight spaces so let's go ahead and uh, play around with the brightness levels again so moonlight right now and let's go ahead and turn it off as well so off moonlight high, low, and back to moonlight. Okay, so let's get it into high and just kind of sweep around the um, area directly in front of us. So you can see the effectiveness of the output 
from this very compact single triple A operated torchlight. Okay, so this is still the high brightness mode and I'm about to change it right now to the low brightness mode just by tapping on the power button at the back. So right now this is the low brightness mode and you can see it's uh, definitely not as bright as the high brightness uh, quite obviously but it's still quite useful. And this is the moonlight mode, which uh, you can see doesn't really illuminate the ground or area in front of us. But if I stick my hand out, you can see that uh, it's definitely on. Okay, so let's go ahead and play around again with the different brightness levels. So this is the low moonlight, high, and low. So let me hold the uh, torchlight just a little bit differently so you can see the torchlight a little bit better maybe. Moonlight, high, And low. So once again I'll shine right in front of us. So this is the low mode. Moonlight. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And on to moonlight. High. Low. So you see all the three brightness levels from the little pen torchlight, the 45 PF03. And let's see if we can just shine around us, high and low, high up in the trees with the high brightness mode. And on the ground or grass in front of us, High, and let's go to back to moonlight. Wait, sorry, this is low, I beg your pardon. And this is moonlight. So high, low, and moonlight. And back to high again. So that's the Thor 5 PF03 torchlight. Thanks for watching and happy shining!